Hi guys, I'm back in Barnet Park. I actually drove to Hadley Wood, but it was so, it looked so muddy. I didn't, I just didn't fancy it, so I thought I'd come back to Barnet Park. I've got a trolley to carry my camera bag, take the weight off my back. So that's, I'll give that a go. So far it's been quite good. So I'm out with the um, Lens Baby Velvet 85. So I'll be using that today. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can get. I found some sort of reddish leaves. But I'll give a go with this lens. Let's see if we can make it look a little bit more dreamy than it looks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, give it a go. I went around the park. So many different things you can photograph here, even though it's all half dead, which I find amazing because it's been like winter. Didn't realise it was all like flowering. <coughs> so anyway, got some pictures. The Velvet 85, Lens Baby Velvet 85, is actually a very good lens. It's it takes getting used to because of the manual focus. Almost given up on the uh, camera's peaking system because you just don't really see it when you need it, and it's not as if it's not on. And but if you can get over that, the lens is quite good. It's very velvety, so you get the effect you're looking for. Today I was shooting in um, f/2 and f/2.8 on a couple. So I've gone from F4 down, so I wanted to get more of that blur. The tripod shooting in manual was quite hard. So what I did is I zoomed it to focus in, positioned my tripod, and then I just had some flexibility then with the, with the focusing in and out. So I didn't have to keep moving the tripod forward and backwards. I suppose the focusing rail would work better in that case. But other than that, it was quite good. I've, I really do think it's a handhold lens more than a tripod lens unless you're doing like a landscaping shot 
up for those close-up shots, definitely a handheld shot. Uh, lens, I mean. But other than that, it's really good. And this trolley is brilliant. I've got no weight on my back, which is really good, so I can carry more stuff if I wanted to. Um, I haven't tested it in the wood yet. I gave up on that when I saw how muddy it was, so I just drove here. Um, so I didn't fancy it, but the tyres are really big. And I reckon it would handle most of it. But it would just be really muddy. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to finish up my coffee. Just today I bought a flask of coffee. And, uh... Hmm. Because I've paid nearly £4 for coffee last time I was here. A lot of money. And I had to pay for the dreaded parking. Thank you so much for joining me on my photo walk on that on this day. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. It really does help motivate me to go out and make these videos and get out the front door. And it also helps the algorithm. If you want to see the making of these pictures, the editing I do in Lightroom and um, mostly in Luminar Neo, um, I'm actually doing those videos on my other channel, um, an artful photo you'll see the link for that in the bottom of the feed of the YouTube feed and I'm doing a lot of software how to's on that channel it's, it's for community uh, website and uh, yeah it's all good fun and they're really quick and easy sort of edits I think most people can probably do um, I'm trying to avoid using Photoshop um, because I'm trying to keep it simple for everyone not to say that we won't ever use Photoshop um, because obviously Photoshop's really good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video um, as much as I did making it. And uh, yeah, talk again soon.